This video is from an 8 millimeter movie that Dr. Robert Guthrie made to explain newborn screening to the public health laboratories and show them some of the basics of the screening process. It was made in about 1970, nine years after he developed the bacterial assay for PKU, that is the Guthrie test, and seven years after he published the test in pediatrics. By 1970, he had developed additional assays for maple syrup urine disease, homocystinuria, and galactosemia. The Massachusetts Public Health Laboratory was one of the laboratories that received a copy of the movie. Automated mass screening of newborn infants for inborn errors of metabolism is the goal of a program at the State University of New York at Buffalo and Children's Hospital. Doctors Robert Guthrie, William Murphy, and Michael Garrick are engaged in this pursuit. Their laboratory has developed simple methods for detecting 13 inherited conditions in infants. Nearly 200 different inborn errors of metabolism have been described to date. At the present rate of discovery, over 10,000 of these conditions might be known by the end of this century. Many of these conditions may be treated if detected in the newborn period. Genetic counseling could prevent further cases. Most of these conditions are rare. Organization of regional mass screening centers provides sufficient volume to yield positive results, reduction in screening costs, and uniform and reliable procedures. A regional center can be developed from existing PKU test programs without an increase in personnel or in costs. Agar plates are poured for the bacterial test that are to be carried out. The punch index machine punches four discs of blood from each spot. The discs are placed on an agar tray for a bacterial test or in a dimple tray for an enzyme test. The reagents are added to the dried blood spots which have been placed in a dimple tray for the enzyme test. Growth zones indicate the concentration of a metabolite in the blood. Following the reading of the test, the results are mailed out. In some cases, as with galactosemia, the telephone is used to obtain immediate action. <laughs> 